why I think I fight. Do I enjoy it? No. Do I enjoy training? No. Do I enjoy cutting weight? No. Am I nervous? Yes. Do I think to myself, what am I doing? Yes. Completely. Unfortunately, it's one of those things you're either born with or you're not. And the only way I can explain it, to try and make it make any sense, is that if I'm not doing something which is either extremely difficult or extremely stressful, I'm in a perpetual state of crippling boredom. I can't explain it. I see other people live their lives and they're like, oh, I can't wait for the weekend because I want to watch this movie. You're looking forward to the weekend for a movie. You're looking forward to the weekend to get drunk. But these things to me are so mundane. They mean nothing. That's because that's how life was. If we were still in the animal kingdom, the lions that you see on TV, they weren't just born big lions. They had to fight other lions. They had to fight to get that antelope. They had to fight other animals, hyenas, jackals. They had to fight to be the boss. We're living in a comfortable world now where people think, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But you know what? To some degree, it does matter. It does matter, and I'll tell you who it matters to. It matters to your soul, and it matters to God. I stand in the mirror with a pure heart. I know I am the best version of me that could possibly ever exist. I know that God is proud of me. There's nothing that God hates more than sloth and laziness. If God were to create a man, and that man were to sit around and do fuck all, God will frown upon you. It's why you're never lucky. If you're listening to this and you think I'm never lucky, I'll tell you why, because God dislikes you, because you're fucking lazy. Start to work, start to show God the beauty of his own creations. You'd be amazed how lucky you become. God is unhappy with these people. And inside their hearts, they're unhappy. We talk about depression, anxiety, all those things you mentioned earlier on this podcast. That comes from self-loathing. You loathe your own weakness. You loathe your own laziness. This is what all of these things are. I don't feel depression. How can I feel depression when I'm the most powerful version of me that I could ever fucking be? How can I feel depression? when I can squeeze my own hand hard enough to break my own bones? How can I feel depression when I've smashed and destroyed 68 people's faces in front of me, men who thought they could test me in fair combat? How can I feel depressed? It's impossible. If you look at anything that builds a man into a man, there's a degree of suffering. So many men say, I want to be the man, but they don't want to suffer. They don't want to fight. And I don't understand why, because even if you look at a superhero movie, they tell you, even in superhero movies, they make it very clear Batman's parents died. That's why he's Batman. It's very hard to become a man and have a man who's respected and has stories and is capable when he only had a nice life and nice experiences. It's usually the things that made you the best version of you are usually the worst things that happen to you. All the bad things have to happen. There's no way to get there without the bad things. Where do you find the strength when you're in these difficult situations? I always find the strength from, from my last name. I'm Andrew Tate. I'm agitated, so I just have to do it. I'm in a Romanian jail cell. I wake up, there's cockroaches in my bed. They're all over my face. What am I gonna cry? Am I gonna go and sign a piece of paper and say I'm guilty? Am I gonna sell my brother out? No, I'm gonna kick the cockroaches off my mouth. I'm gonna do some push-ups, because I'm Andrew Tate. When shit really gets hard, honor and courage and bravery and your last name is all you've ever had. Especially with men, none of them are bestowed with the things that the masculine essence needs to be a good man. You need pride, you need honor. I have to give absolute faith to the Romanian judicial system to find it makes the right decision to let us free. I've done nothing wrong. God knows I've done nothing wrong in my heart. I know I've done nothing wrong. I think the people at home who are the fucking brain understand that have done nothing wrong.